Hi, in this video, we'll talk about user authentication using LDAP on the Flex VNF NextGen firewall. First, log into the Versa Director and select your appliance, CPE10. Just click on it. And then on the left, click on Objects and Connectors. From the drop down, click on Connectors. Now we will have to configure the LDAP connector. Select User Groups. Next, select LDAP. You will see two options here LDAP Server Profile and LDAP user slash group profile. First, we must configure the server profile. I have, I already have one created. You have to create a name. Select the server type as Active Directory. State as Enable. Select Bind DN, which is authentication credentials towards the Active Directory. I'm using the user as administrator. This is my full bin DN. Enter your bin password. This is my domain name. This is the base DN. This is the location of LDAP tree. Then you will have to add your servers. I've already had one here added. Just click on this. This, the IP address. This is the default LDAP port. And this is the routing instance on which the LDAP server is reachable. Click OK. Now click on the user group profile and add a new one here. I already have one, so just click on that. I have a group object class, group name, and the group member mentions, and the user object class username. The username mentioned in the form of user principal name format. Just cancel this. Now click on services, and we'll have to configure the next gen firewall. Before we do that, we'll have to configure the captive portal. For the captive portal, you'll use a self-signed certificate. But I will quickly show you how this is done. Click on Others, click on the system, and click on Keys, Appliance, and then you can create a private key. After you created the private key, click on Certificate and Appliance, and then you create a new self-signed certificate. So you can also load proper root CA signed the certificate, which is always better because then you will not get an error on the browser saying that this is a certificate not recognized as not trusted. So now we will be using the self-signed certificate you will just click on Add Certificate. Give the name of the certificate and mentioned attributes for the certificate and then give the private key. And this is done. Come back to the services under the next gen firewall. Click on Security. Before that, we will get the security settings and we will configure the captive portal. Just edit this. Make sure that you have SSL port mentioned for the HTTPS redirect. Also, SSL certificate that already created. So I have the certificate here, which is Cert 1. Make sure that the firewall rule has a permit for the traffic that you're trying to authenticate. I have a rule which is allowing all my traffic. This is very important that you have a rule in the security policy. Now we will start with the authentication. We will click on Profiles and just create a new profile. We will call it Authentication Profile 1. Select the LDAP profile and caching mode, IP based. Cache expiration is one minute. This is LEF profile for analytics, routing instances where the LDAP service is reachable. Click OK. Now under policies. First, we'll have created a new policy. Just name this temp policy and click OK. And then click on rules. First, here, we will just give a name. I am not going to make any match here because I'm going to allow all traffic. I want all traffic to be indicated. Then I will just directly go to the Enforce tab, and I authenticate the traffic here, and I just log the traffic analytics. After this is done, get into SSL Decryption Profile. Select the self-signed certificate. Select the decryption type as a forward proxy and click OK. After this is done, click on Policies and create a decryption policy. We will name it as Decrypt Policy 1. Click OK. And then under the rule, just add rules. We are first going to create a rule just to allow all traffic. And go to Enforce Select Action as Decrypt. 
also select a decryption profile. Click OK. I'm going to create one more rule and call this a matched rule. And then under user group profile, I can select a specific user, for example, selected user groups. And I call my LDAP profile. I could call my user. This is going to query from LDAP server. So for this to work, you'll have to make sure the, that LDAP server is reachable from server. Because the director is going to query this information. We will not use the selected user group, just select the known groups, which means every user known to the system will match this group. And then we will click on enforce. Here I will select action as decrypt and decryption profile. Click OK. Now, I'll have to change the order of the rule to bring this up because I want the match rule to check before allowing all rules. Now we are done with the configuration. Okay, let me try this website. Now you see the error message. This certificate is a self-signed certificate. So I'll have to accept this exception. And then I will get second exception page. So you see, this is 44,991, which we mentioned in a captive portal page. Click on advance and accept this exception as well. We have used the same certificate for SSL decryption and captive portal. And I accept this exception. Now it is asking me to put my username and password. This is the captive portal page. You'll have to give username in the UPN format and enter a password, then click continue. Now the user is authenticated and the website is opened. And you can look at the browser certificate. Now you come back to our system here and click monitor. And look at the statistics in NextGen Firewall under decryption and select policy. And deception policy. Now you see, can see the statistics and hit count for both rules. With this, we come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching.